Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll continue our discussion on normalization, and we'll look at uh, the implementation in Python. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here I've already imported two libraries, NumPy and preprocessing from sklearn, and these are the versions that I'm using. Uh, let's first create a data. I will create an array. So let's do that. Data. And the array is going to be a 2D array, 3 by 2, that we saw in the previous video. np.array. And here we have the values 1 and 30. And then second, we have 2 and 40. And then third one, let's see, 3 and 50. So that's our array and our data we are going to work with. The first option we are going to try is using the normalize uh, function method. So option one, and we'll do that for both L1 and L2. So x, x norm L1 is equal to pre processing dot normalize, normalize. And here we have x norm is equal to L1. And then if we look at the x norm value here, uh, we see that uh, th these are the normalized values. And to check if this is correct, uh, one way we can do that is simply by adding these two values. So when we add these two, they add up to one. So uh, that's the L1 normalization. Now, similar to L1 normalization, we can do l2 normalization using the same method where we just substitute this l uh, l1 by l2 and we get the values for l2 now for l2 normalization what we need to uh, do to check if the uh, length of the vector is one is we need to take square of this so we to square these and then add these together so I'm going to square these, add these together, and then we need to take the square root of that. So np.sqrt, and as you can see, it's pretty close to one. So that's one way to do a normalization. Now we let's look at the second method to normalize the data. So this would be the option two. And in option two, what we need to do is use the transformer API. So we'll create a variable called transformer and here we'll write the command pre processing dot normalizer and here we'll specify the norm as l1 and when then once that is done we can now apply that to our data so x norm and here let's say l1 is equal to transformer dot fit underscore transform and here we specify the data which is x and when we now look at x norm we get the values which are same as what we had before 0 0.033258086 so that's another way to do it we uh, we can get the values for l2 in the same way so let's do that for l2 we simply need to change this from l1 to l2 and uh, when we run this we get the values that are normalized values with l2 norm as before now by default the axis that is used is one axis one so it's going sample wise let's uh, i'm going to copy this and paste it here so this the output of this is this and now if we look at the axis so if we change you know, type the axis is equal to one we get the same value however if we now uh, want to look at a different axis so here we can change the axis to zero and now we have uh, the values that are different what has happened is when we are looking at axis one we are normalizing values by sample vector like these so the sum of these two values is one so let me copy this and paste it here so the sum of these two values is one however when we are uh, uh, working feature wise column wise so here then 
the sum of these values should be equal to 1 plus uh, plus 0 0.5 so 1 so th that's something to remember uh, that by default when you are using normalize the normalization step happens uh, uh, with a sample vector and not a feature vector because that is uh, desirable when we are working with uh, data that such as text classification because the goal there is to uh, look at the data set where the strings could be of different lengths and bringing bringing them into the unit norm helps so that was it for this video i hope in this and previous video you learned what is l2 norm what is l1 norm and what are the use cases of those and how to implement that in python if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comments below i hope to see you all in the next videos please like share and subscribe thank you